In this video, we are going to take a look at the new mesh export options in Substance Painter. So in this scene, I'm going to focus on this tarp, and I have some layers that are creating some height information. So first, let's enable this layer, which provides some procedural folding. Then I have another layer that provides some hand-painted folds, and you can see that the mesh is being tessellated. This is driven by my shader settings. So if I come over to my shader settings, you can see that displacement and tessellation is enabled and the source channel is height. This means my displacement is driven by any channel that is providing height information. You can see that the subdivision mode is using uniform and I have a fairly low subdivision count at a value of one. So we can now export this tessellated mesh directly from Substance Painter and the level of tessellation is going to be driven by the values you have set here for tessellation. So let's take a look at how we can export this. So we can just simply come over here to the file menu and choose export mesh. Now we have new mesh export options. First, you'll notice that we have without displacement and tessellation. However, we have a new option to disable the applying of triangulation. So triangulation converts all mesh polygons with more than three sides to triangles. And you can simply disable that by just unchecking apply triangulation. Choosing to apply triangulation for export can avoid unexpected results when rendering the mesh in another application. Now let's take a look at with displacement and tessellation. You'll notice that we have this option for recompute vertex normals and this has to do specifically with if you're using a normal map or not. So recomputing vertex normals is recommended if you do not plan on using a normal map in a target application. So in this scenario here, I haven't baked any normal map. I've just painted height information directly in my layer stack, and that's what's driving my displacement. So in this case, recompute vertex normals is what I would want to have enabled when I export this tessellated mesh. By unchecking this option, the original vertex normals are then used, and this is recommended if you are planning to use the normal map in a target application. This just keeps the tangent basis all in sync. Now in my case, like I said, no normal map, so I'm gonna choose recompute vertex normals, and then simply hit my export button. Now you'll notice that for this save as type, we have some new format options. For example, you can see that we can now choose FBX, we have OBJ, which was in previous versions. You also have files like Collada, as well as GLTF. In my case, I'm just gonna choose to export an FBX, and then we're gonna take a look at this in my 3D program. So here I've imported that FBX into Blender. This is our tarp, and if we take a look, you can see this is now the tessellated mesh that was exported from Substance Painter.